Welcome to the live show on the internet. Hey, Dr. Yeah. We got a wild and crazy show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We're going to jump right into it. A little more than a month ago, a group of individuals with the goal of premeditated murder traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa to commit a heinous crime in our city. I said at that time that we would make arrest and get justice in this case for all the victims, including the mother of Charles Jones, who traveled from Jacksonville this morning to be present for this announcement. Today, I stand before Tampa Police Major Pat Mesmer, Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, and Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez to announce the arrest of three people in the deadly shooting of Charles Jones, also known by his stage name of Julio Fulio. In addition, we have warrants and are actively searching for two other individuals in this case. Today's announcement would not be possible without the outstanding investigative work of our homicide detectives and with the assistance of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the ATF. These individuals took extreme measures to try to cover their actions, but they were no match for our investigators. Isaiah Chance, Elisa Andrews, Sean Gaithright, Davion Murphy, and Richard Murphy are all accused of playing a role in Jones's death and are all charged with one count of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm and one count of conspiracy of murder in the first degree premeditated with the discharge of a firearm. Chance, Andrews, and Gaithright were arrested over the weekend in Jacksonville. Davion Murphy and Richard Murphy are still fugitives of justice, and we are working closely with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the U.S. Marshals to apprehend them. On June 23rd, Tampa police officers responded to a shooting on McKinley Drive and located four victims. One person later identified as Charles Jones was pronounced deceased. Jones was in town celebrating his birthday and posted on his social media his locations several times throughout that night. Surveillance video was critical in this investigation as suspects were seen on video following Jones from location to location. This shows the links that these individuals were willing to go through and achieve that this murder would occur. At 4.15 in the morning, Jones began to head to a hotel on McKinley. One of the suspect vehicles is seen following the victim. However, instead of following them into a parking lot, they stage across the street. At 4.38, three shooters exit a vehicle and walked in the direction of the hotel. They murdered Jones with a handgun and two rifles. This barrage of gunfire also struck three additional victims who miraculously survived this incident. Let's look at this video. This is at the hotel and you can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. And they are shooting at Charles now. And you can see that he's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. And again, they're still shooting at him. He's the right front passenger in that vehicle. It's clear from that video what they were set out to do and what they had planned to do. The investigation would later reveal that the three armed shooters were Sean Gaithright, Richard Murphy, and Davion Murphy. Detectives used footage from the scene 
license plate readers, and phone logs to identify two vehicles and link them back to the suspects. Furthermore, it was found that the shooters are members of or affiliated with rival gangs of Jones that go by ATK and 1200. Jones was part of the six block gang. Detectives believe that the ATK and the 1200 worked together to target Jones as part of an ongoing feud in Jacksonville. I wanna send a clear message to anyone that the city of Tampa is not where you want to come to settle a dispute. Yeah, I'm sorry. You will be charged, you will be arrested, and you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent possible. Furthermore, if you're a gang member, there's no alleged immunity through a cone of silence as our detectives will find evidence needed to make an arrest and hold everyone accountable, just as we did in this case. Then you will be prosecuted by our tenacious state attorney, Susie Lopez. Today would not be possible without the assistance of our law enforcement partners in Jacksonville who collaborated with us and shared intelligence that helped us in this case. Their agency also assisted with many search warrants, locating and arresting these dangerous individuals. At this time, I would like to invite Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters, followed by State Attorney Susie Lopez. Sure. Thanks, Chief. So good afternoon, I'm T.K. Waters. Sheriff of Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you, Chief Burkhall, for inviting me to stand with you as we announce these murder arrests. Today, three dangerous criminals are off our Florida streets and in police custody where they belong. These individuals have chosen lives of urban terrorism, and with their arrests, we show Tampa, Jacksonville, and the rest of Florida, the rest of this state, that we hold violent criminals accountable. At the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, we will always work together with our law enforcement partners to ensure that our communities are free of those who choose violence over peace. I want to applaud the investigators from Tampa PD and JSO for their committed collaborative work to bring violent criminals to justice. What I saw in this partnership evidenced the very best of information and resource pooling to ensure public safety. In closing, I want to directly speak to those who choose violence and those who embrace a culture that glorifies violence. Florida, Tampa, JSO, Jacksonville, Miami, wherever you are, will not tolerate foolishness, will not tolerate shootings and unneedless violence. We will not make excuses for poor decisions. We'll hold you accountable for your criminal actions. Florida is a state of law and order. Law enforcement agencies in this state will always work together to protect the good and decent people who chose to live within the law. And we will always work together to ferret out those who choose the lives of violent crime. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. The ongoing fight between these two groups spilled over into Tampa last month. Let me be clear, the feud stops here. All five of these defendants are facing life in the Florida State Prison, even the ones who didn't pull the trigger. In Florida, if you participate in the planning of a murder, you can be held accountable for the person's death. And that is what we intend to do here. There were three people who pulled the trigger. You saw it on the video. Five people though are charged with murder. The level of planning and coordination between these five defendants was truly alarming. It is clear that they all had one purpose in coming to Tampa, and that was to kill. And let's not lose sight of the fact that there are innocent victims in every homicide case, the loved ones who are left behind. His fans knew him as Julio Fulio, but to his mom, he's Charles. We're fighting to make sure that she gets justice. I was able to speak with her this morning before she got to Tampa, and she's in Tampa with us today. I wanted to let her know that my office takes gun violence very seriously, and I let her know that these five defendants will be held accountable for their calculated actions. 
The defendants are in custody, three of them, in Jacksonville and will be moved here to appear in court. My office will file a motion for pretrial detention to ensure that these dangerous individuals are held behind bars as they await trial where they belong. I want to commend the Tampa Police Department for this investigation, as well as our collaboration with JSO. The TPD investigation developed a mountain of evidence and we will work hard to ensure that justice is served for all victims in this case. Thank you very much. You big dummy. You gotta be, let's talk about it. Man, them white folks applying so much pressure to you niggas right now, y'all are telling God. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, say it ain't so. I don't know why y'all niggas went down there to Tampa, Florida and try to commit such a heinous crime, man, and you got yourselves caught up, man. Y'all are better doing all that right there in Jacksonville, man. You can't come down to Tampa with that foolishness. If you know anything about Tampa, you should know that Tampa got every police agency known to man. Why would you want to come down here and commit such a crime? Like the man was saying, like the sheriff was saying, man, it was a cakewalk catching you niggas, man. You niggas is retarded. You niggas shouldn't have did nothing that y'all did, man. When y'all y'all made the worst decision of y'all lives, man, when y'all got on that highway and came down to Tampa, man. I'm so serious. And young and age, you better pray and hope that your name don't come up, man, because guess what? Them white folks applying so much pressure, them niggas going to tell on any and everybody. Ain't nobody safe, man. So whoever put that money up on Julio Fulio, they going to they gonna, they gonna mention your name. And like the lady was saying, man, everybody had a part of this. They going to get charged with murder. You ain't got to actually commit the murder, but if you had anything to do with it, you going to get uh, charged with murder and you going to get prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Yeah, man. If you want to be the gangster, that's what that what happens, man. Gangsters end up six feet under or in prison the rest of their life. And unfortunately, we got young men that just threw their life away and now they head into prison the rest of their life. Yeah, man, you know how much money it costs to get a lawyer to go to trial for murder. You got to at least have 60 bands or better. 60 bands or better. Who is going to put 60 grand up to uh to help these dudes here fight? You think their family members going to do that? You think whoever uh put them up to do this going to help them out with lawyer fees and all that? Nah, man. Nah, y'all going to more than likely they're going to go to trial with a public defender. If they money ain't right, they're going to go to trial with a public defender. And whatever money that they accumulated in the streets is all gone to 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 attorney. It's all going to attorney. And these people are trying to get a life sentence out of these individuals. As you can see in the um in the footage, man, they was they 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 came to kill, man. They weren't playing at all. I don't know what Julio Fulio had going on with these other individuals, but it was it's been an ongoing feud for quite some time. People been dying left and right. The violence has got to stop. If y'all not gonna stop the violence upon yourself, the police department, the feds gonna make sure they put a halt to this gun violence, man. I'm so serious. It's going down the worst way on your birthday. Anybody that had anything to do with this, you gonna get subpoenaed to come to court. If you seen anything, you're going to get subpoenaed to come to court and you're going to have to testify during trial. Or you're going to catch a mean charge. These folks ain't playing, man. The feds done took over this situation. Y'all going from, 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 y'all, 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 y'all traveling going to do all this foolishness, man. Y'all crossing county lines and everything to keep, commit murder. These folks can't have you doing that, man. This is a tourist state. Florida is a tourist state. They is not finna have you peon ass niggas messing up their money. I don't blame them. And then another thing y'all need to know is Julio Fulio was signed to a record label. That's them people investment. Y'all don't off them people investment. You think them people ain't going to try to prosecute y'all to the fullest extent of the law? It's money invested in this, and y'all niggas done messed up these people. Money. So you got to pay for it more than one way. To the YGs out there, you need to take heave at this situation. You might think this all gangster, man, but when your high gone, 
and you faced with reality and no one answered the phone for you because they ain't got time for you to be asking for money for your commissary. They ain't got time to even be accepting your phone calls. They ain't got time to put money towards a lawyer for, for lawyer fees. Them people from going go on with their life. And you're going to be stuck there to deal with all this on your own. Just because you tried to be gangster. Like I said before, it's only two places a gangster's going to ever go. It's the prison for the rest of their life or six feet under. Guaranteed. Now, these people say they got to catch two more individuals. It ain't going to take long because it costs money to go to war. And I doubt these cats can move around like that, man. These U.S. Marshals going to apprehend them and bring them in. And these people are going to get to talking. They're going to tell everything. They're going to they gonna solve a lot of crime that's unsolved in Jacksonville just to get their time cut. So if y'all... Whoever out there done committed crime, and you know these individuals, you, you better pray that they don't come see you. Because they're definitely going to try to get themselves out of this situation, man. They're going to definitely try to lower their sentence any kind of way they can. Like I say, young and ace, you better get yourself ready, man. You better pack your bags, man, because your name uh, uh, might get mentioned. Then again, it might don't get mentioned. If you just making songs about this situation, about his death, you making mockery, you better keep it like that. Because these other individuals that have been apprehended for murder, they damn sure ain't going to, they, they, they damn sure going to let them white folks know what time it is, man. You better believe it. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gospel TV, because we the shit. <laughs>